Because I wasn't able to find a definitive video letting me know whether sandblasting an old tinner like this would destroy it, I thought I'd make my own. So two things I wanted to achieve by sandblasting. One, these deep scratches in the hull on this aluminum surface, I wanted to be able to work those out. And secondly, to get rid of all this paint. So the answer is yes, you can. It doesn't destroy the aluminum. It causes a bit, a bit of spalling, which allows you to sand that down to a nice surface. And it definitely gets rid of the paint a lot better than sanding does. So for a sandblaster, I have this old pot style siphon feed uh, Princess Auto Special. I bought this about 22 years ago. And I used it very little because I didn't have an air dryer. So the second item that you absolutely need is some kind of high capacity air dryer. So again, Princess Auto Special here. Um, this thing works amazing. I wish I would have added this years ago. The way this thing works, real quick tutorial. You got your incoming air here from your air compressor. It does say on there, warning to keep about 25 feet. So I have one long line. It doesn't have to be 25 feet away, but I have 25 feet of line that feeds into this thing. Then it comes up through this tube. There's forced through a whole bunch of desiccant. Looks like little marshmallows that you can buy from Princess Auto and out here into my hose reel. Uh, at the very bottom here is the water drain. So you can crack this thing. You can let out all sorts of water. Well, that helps immensely because what happens is once you pressurize that water, as you know from your own air compressor, and then you pour, pour it into your sand blaster, that sand and water mixes and it just it clumps up and it just it goes out in spurts, if at all. So here's my compressor. Again, I bought this probably 20 years ago. It's a Coleman PowerMate. It doesn't flow a huge amount of CFM, but it, it does the job for my shop here. 60 gallon tank, so I like that extra capacity. And the other thing here I put on was a water separator it basically has a brass filter very small micron kind of a net thing catches oil and water as it goes out and then just periodically you just tip that and you can see that there is moisture in the bowl um, back here i used a orbital sander 60 and 80 grit sandpaper to get rid of the paint because at this point i was getting frustrated because the sandblaster was getting plugged up because it didn't have the air dryer you can see here where the decal is or i guess you american guys call that a decal you can still see like there's like you know glue and a bunch of residual from the, the decal itself so i'm gonna hit that with the sandblaster here pretty soon and one last thing here you can see like that's what the you know the sort of pock marks and pitting where there's still like red paint in in the aluminum um you know uh that's that's gonna come out with a sandblasting and no sander's gonna do that without taking like one or two thousandths of an inch i'll just give you a quick demo on the painted side of the boat here just so you get an idea of what's going on Well, there you go, nice close up. You see how I took the paint off real easy. And you can see I was working some of those Mars on this side and it looks like it polished up pretty nicely. So I'll give you an idea how this polishes up once the spalling has happened from the sandblasting. I got this random orbital sander with a 220 grit sandpaper. Let's hit it up with it. <laughs> So you can see even with a 220 grit, you get a bit of a hash mark pattern going on. So I'll hit this with a uh, cutting compound on a buffer and that should come out real shiny. So just to see how far we can take this thing to a shine, we'll just give a little bit of a metal polish. Clean that up with a little bit of Varsol here. And then we'll give it a little bit of this marine polish just to take it up one more notch.
Well, there you go. Look how shiny that gets. It's just a little bit of polishing afterwards. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I was a little bit hesitant to hit this thing with a uh, sound blaster because I thought it might eat right through the aluminum, but it definitely works. Just take your time. Um, and uh, I hope this was helpful. Like and subscribe. We have lots of fish and fixing videos as well as fishing itself in Western Canada, specifically Saskatchewan. I do lots of different content and we sure appreciate your support.